Eruption, the third book in Roland Smith's Storm Runners series, continues the high-stakes adventure of Chase Masters and his friends, Nicole Rossi and Rashawn. Following the devastating Category 5 Hurricane Emily and their experience in the circus camp in the surge, the trio now faces another natural disaster, a volcanic eruption. Chase Masters, a young teenager, has traveled all over the United States with his father, a renowned storm chaser, learning to cope with various natural disasters. In this installment, he's reunited with his friends at a farm in Washington State, along with the exotic animals they rescued in the second book. The farm is managed by the Rossi family, who are grateful to Chase for his role in their daughter Nicole's rescue from the aftermath of the hurricane. However, the tension quickly mounts as Mount Rainier, a nearby volcano that has been dormant for centuries, begins to show dangerously active signs. Earthquakes shake the ground, and geologists warn of an impending eruption which could have devastating effects on the surrounding area. Chase, with his survival skills and natural instincts, recognizes the signs of impending disaster before many others do. With the threat of the eruption looming, the Rossi's focus on securing their farm and animals, uncertain whether to evacuate or wait it out. Chase tries to formulate a plan to keep everyone safe, but disagreements arise on the best way to proceed. Nicole, feeling torn between her family and the possibility of running away, finds herself struggling to choose where her loyalty lies. As the seismic activity increases, Chase's father arrives, adding to the sense of urgency since he is known for heading towards danger. He has come not only to warn them about the eruption, but also because he's been tracking a rare and important Kreutzer Komodo dragon that has escaped from a local zoo and is believed to be in the area. This dragon is of significant importance because of its unique genetic makeup and potential for scientific research. The group soon finds itself in a race against time as the volcano shows imminent signs of erupting. They need to locate the Komodo dragon, ensure the safety of the exotic animals, and find a way to escape the region before the eruption occurs. Chase plans an evacuation, which includes transporting the animals to a safer location. They devise a convoy system, using all available vehicles to move the animals efficiently. Despite the logistical nightmare, they manage to get the animals loaded, but their plans are threatened when they discover the Komodo dragon near a heavily populated area, complicating the evacuation. As the volcano finally erupts, it's a frantic rush to save the dragon and get out of the danger zone. The eruption is catastrophic, sending pyroclastic flows, ash, and debris throughout the region and causing massive destruction. Chase, his friends, and the animals are in a perilous race to reach safety, navigating through chaos and ruin that the eruption leaves in its wake. Through a combination of ingenuity, luck, and sheer determination, Chase and company manage to both rescue the Komodo dragon and find a way to safety. They load the dragon onto their convoy, despite the risks, knowing its importance and the need to keep it alive. Throughout the ordeal, the group learns valuable lessons about survival, teamwork, and the power of the natural world. While they initially face impasses, they must quickly adapt and overcome barriers, including blocked roads, the breakdown of communication systems, and the unending fallout of ash. These obstacles test their wits and push them to their limits as they are forced to improvise solutions in the midst of the eruption's chaos. Amidst the survival effort, personal growth emerges for each of the characters. Chase's courage and quick thinking are put to the test as he faces his greatest challenge yet. Nicole's desire to help her family while also caring for the animals reveals her strength and sense of responsibility. Rashawn's loyal and supportive nature is instrumental in keeping the spirits of the group up, while Mr. Master's experience with storms gives him the foresight to assist in maneuvering the group out of the catastrophe. As they navigate the treacherous conditions with the animals and the Komodo dragon in tow, the group must contend with roads blocked by lava flows and the relentless ash that makes breathing difficult and reduces visibility to almost zero. In addition to the natural obstacles, they must also deal with the stress and panic of the human populations around them, many of whom were unprepared for such a disaster. The climax arrives when the group finally discerns a path to clear land, away from the reach of the erupting volcano. 
Their journey to this point has been fraught with challenges, and their collective relief is palpable once they find themselves on safe ground. In the end, the animals are secured in a new location, the Komodo dragon is handed over to the appropriate authorities, and the group finds temporary refuge in a place unaffected by the eruption. With the immediate danger past, Chase, Nicole, Rashawn, and Mr. Masters are left to ponder their future. The impact of the disaster leaves an indelible mark on each of them. They have faced death and emerged stronger and more connected to one another. They realize that their journey together has bonded them in ways they couldn't have imagined, and they acknowledge the lessons they've learned about the fragility of life and the power of the earth. In the aftermath of the eruption, there is much to be done. The community will need to rebuild, the ash will need to be cleared, and the overall damage assessed. But for now, Chase and his friends take a moment to appreciate their survival and the depth of their friendships. The unknown future does not seem as foreboding with the knowledge that they can rely on each other. Eruption is an action-packed novel that deftly combines adventure with the study of human nature under pressure. Roland Smith's detailed description of the volcanic eruption offers readers an insightful view into the terrifying and majestic force of natural disasters. The story also underscores important themes such as resilience, teamwork, and the monumental effects of the natural environment on human civilization. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.